Hello, hi everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate about dictionary management in test data management 952. Normally, dictionary files are used in substitution masking for masking the names or address and so on. In test data management, uh, we have uh, two types of dictionary files. One is relational dictionary and the other one is flat file dictionary. I'm going to show you how to create the dictionary files in test data management. You need to go to the administrator tab. And go to dictionaries over here and click on actions in the right hand side click new dictionary and uh, you can give a name for example I'm going to create for uh, first name so here you can choose either relational or flat file I'm going to choose flat file so you need to select the flat file so here I have uh, the list of uh, dictionaries that are supplied with test data management here I'm going to choose first names and uh, in the file encoding you can choose wh whatever uh, code page that you want I'm going to choose UTF-8 now click save you will see the dictionary file created now I am going to show you how to create a relational dictionary file so you go to actions click on new dictionary and uh, give a name uh, maybe address for creating a dictionary file for address and uh, you need to choose relational and uh, you click on select connection so it will list uh, all the connections that you have in uh, the TDM so you can list the connection and you can click next it's going to uh, show you the list of schemas and you choose one of the schemas in which you have the table and uh, you select the table that the dictionary table that you have and uh, you will see the relational uh, dictionary created in test data management where are these dictionary files used actually these dictionary files are used in uh, substitution rule masking and also in the email rule where we mask the first name and last name and uh, we append both the names and we add a domain name to get uh, the email ID I'm going to show you a sample substitution rule where you can choose the dictionary file for the substitution rule masking so you can give a name for the rule say rule for first name and uh, the data type is string choose substitution and click on next you will see the options for dictionary here you can click select to choose one of the dictionary files that we created so now I have chosen this uh, first name dot uh, DAC and uh, you can choose the first name uh, which is the value that is going to be masked and you can save this rule so what are all the privileges that are required for viewing this uh, dictionary and also to edit or create the dictionary files so here uh, we need to have the view rules privilege and the uh, manage rule privilege the view rules privilege uh, is going to be used for listing uh, the dictionaries in the TDM 
and uh, for creating and editing the rule you need to have the manage rule privilege i'm going to show you the privilege in the test data management so this is the roles and privileges pages for a particular user so this is for the administrator user and you can see that uh, it has got manage and uh, view uh, rules privileges this is the privilege that will be uh, needed for managing and uh, to view the dictionary files so far we have seen the types of dictionary files and where these dictionary files are used and the privileges required for accessing and managing the dictionary files thanks for watching this video